Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. It seems you guys love to see my meal plan, prep and recipe videos and actually even I love filming them. So here is yet another one. If you are new to my channel, I would like to mention here that I already have 5 to 6 meal plan and prep videos and the most popular one has close to 1 million views. If you are interested to watch them, I will link all the videos in cards and in description box below in case you want to check them out. And without any further delay, let's get started with today's video. First, I will show you all the preps and then later based on those preps, I will show you the recipes. So, let's get started. Indian household is incomplete without pickles and in my past videos I have shown you various types of pickles like carrot pickle, cauliflower pickle, raw mango pickle and today I will share you onion pickle. I have taken shallots onion here. You can take small onions or if you have big ones just simply cut them into small pieces. Next I will add salt around 1 tablespoon, 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon split mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon red chilli powder. Now add water enough to soak the onions. I have sterilized the glass bottle and used boiled and cooled water so that the pickle does not form mold. Of course we are going to keep it at the room temperature for at least 5 to 6 days. Leave it on counter for few days and your onion pickle should be ready. My kids requested to eat baked macaroni this week and even they want to take it for their lunch next day. So I will be prepping the white sauce ahead so that it's easier in the mornings. This white sauce can be used to make white sauce pasta as well. First I am greasing the pan with ghee so that the milk does not stick at the bottom. I will now prep all the ingredients while the pan is heating up. Once pan is medium hot, I will add 2 tablespoons of butter. And to this, I will add 1 tablespoon of plain flour. I will roast this for around a minute or two, then add warm milk, little at a time, so that it does not form any lumps. The only thing I will add to this white sauce is crushed black pepper and sugar, no salt. Lastly, I will grate some processed cheese and add that to the sauce as this will help thicken the sauce. Once white sauce is ready, I will set it aside and start prepping the Shazwan sauce, for which I will be using a deep pan. I have pre-soaked red dry chilies overnight to make the Shazwan sauce. I have also taken 20 to 25 cloves of garlic, 2 inches of ginger and stems of coriander. I will crush them using the food processor. Next, I will make a paste of soaked red chilies. The red chilies I am using here is very old, so neither it gave good color nor it was crushed well into a paste. So, use newer red chilies or you can also use the fresh red chilies for the recipe. Make sure to remove as many seeds as possible, otherwise, the sauce will be super duper spicy. Now, the pan is hot, so I will add 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. To this, I will add star anise and also the crushed ginger garlic and saute it till the ginger garlic is slightly brown. Then I will add the red chilli paste and cook it for 10 minutes on low flame. After 10 minutes, I will turn flame off and at this stage, I will add a little red chilli, Kashmiri red chilli just to add colour. You don't have to use it if your chillies already have colour. I also added red chilli sauce, soya sauce, tomato ketchup, sugar, vinegar and salt. Stir well and there you go. Shazwan sauce is ready. I will let it sit on countertop till it's completely cooled down before I transfer it to a jar. Next, I will mix three different dals for dal fry. I have tried various different ratios and proportions and types of dal to make dal fry but this one so far tastes the best. So I will be taking half cup of chana dal and a quarter cup of masoor dal and a quarter cup of urad dal. I will wash, soak and boil the dal. Next, I will cut pineapple and I will marinate it. I cut this pineapple and I realize it's gone bad. So, I will show you a previous clip to show you how I marinate the pineapple. Did you know pineapples have an enzyme that eats you after you eat it? 
which is why you experience a tingling sensation on your tongue and throat after you have eaten it. My kids not only get this tingling sensation but also red rashes and they despise eating just plain pineapple but not this marinated pineapple. So give it a try if your kids experience the same rash and the tingling problem. So to marinate the pineapple, I have cut pineapple into thin slices and then I will lay a few pieces in a bowl and sprinkle some raw sugar on top and repeat the process. Then I will glad wrap it and leave it on the counter overnight. Pineapple will be marinated and you can use it just as an afternoon snack or use it in baked macaroni or you can even grill it in barbecue. Either way, it tastes amazing. Next, let's make instant coconut chutney. In India, I used to make coconut chutney using fresh coconut like we all do. But since I have started using this desiccated coconut for the chutney, I love it more than fresh coconut chutney. So you should at least give it a go at least once. So to make the coconut chutney, to a mixing jar, I will take 2 tablespoons of fresh yogurt. To this, I will add 3 tablespoons of desiccated coconut and little water to grind. 1 green chilli and few strands of fresh coriander. Finally, I will add black salt and grind it into a nice paste. It should be a little runny because coconut will absorb the water later on. I will season it with mustard seeds, urad dal, curry leaves and a little asafoetida and ta-da! Our coconut chutney is ready. Now time to put everything in the fridge. I will store the Shezwan sauce in a sterilized glass jar. This smells so good and I can't wait to share the dosa and the rice recipe using this sauce. I already had soaked and kept the moong beans for sprouting two days ago and they are ready to go in the fridge as well. The white sauce is not completely cooled but I will anyways transfer it to the container and let it cool before refrigerating it. I will see you soon as and when I make the recipes over a few days. First, let me share a new style of dal fry recipe. But before that, let me heat up some water and add the boiled dal to it while I make this seasoning. To make the seasoning, I will heat up a pan and add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Once ghee is melted, I will add cumin seeds and saute for around 30 seconds. Then add hing or acetate. I will turn the flame to medium and add all the spices. Just our basic spices like red chilli powder, turmeric, cumin, coriander and garam masala. Mix well and add few cloves of garlic finely chopped. I also added one small red onion, finely chopped and cook it for few minutes. Lastly, I will add dry fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi and turn the flame off. The seasoning is ready. Did you notice? I did not add any tomato, neither in boiling nor in seasoning. And that's the beauty of this dal fry. Lastly, add the seasoning to the dal and mix well. Once the seasoning has been mixed well into the dal, I will add fresh coriander and half lemon juice to the dal and the second seasoning for which I am heating oil on this side. I will heat some oil and add finely sliced garlic and roast it till it's brown. And finally add this to the dal and cover with the lid and let the flavor and the aroma blend all together before serving the dal fry with jeera rice. Next recipe is loved by kids. It's baked macaroni. I already have prepped the sauce so all I am going to do is heat up the sauce as it has crumbled as I added cheese to it at the time of the prep. I suggest do not add cheese at the time of prep, rather add it at this stage when you are reheating it. Well, it didn't make a big difference as it melted again but just a suggestion and a thing to be kept in mind. Once the sauce is hot again, add boiled macaroni and let this cook for few minutes. Lastly, add diced and canned pineapple but only add the pineapple after turning the flame off. 
I am using can as I could not marinate the fresh ones as it went bad, remember? Finally, add shredded cheese on the top. I am using a mixture of processed and mozzarella cheese. As I have used the iron pan, which is oven safe as well, I will put the entire pan in the oven and grill the cheese till it has brown spots on the top. And doesn't it look amazing? My son loves baked macaroni more than anyone in the house and he thoroughly enjoyed it and guess what we had none left for the next day school next recipe is Ginny dosa which is doing the rounds these days on the internet i believe it's very popular on mumbai streets and i have heard a lot about it so let's try it today and let me give you if it's really worth trying and how does it taste so First, let me make the vegetable mixture for it, for which I have heated a pan and added 2 tablespoons of oil. To this, I will add 1 chopped red onion, 2 tomatoes, half green capsicum and simmer and cook till the tomatoes are mushy. I will add salt to fasten the process. Next, I will add 1 tablespoon Shazwan sauce and 1 tablespoon of tomato ketchup. I will add more Shazwan sauce later to make it a little bit more spicy for us adults. Otherwise, the kids will not be able to eat the dosa. Lastly, I will add fresh coriander and spring onions before turning the flame off. So, the veggie mixture is ready. Now, I will make the dosa, cook it on low flame and while the dosa is cooking, I will add this veggie mixture and spread it evenly on the dosa. I will also grate some paneer and processed cheese on top of the dosa. You can also add fresh coriander if you like but it's optional. I love coriander so I am adding it. Now cut the dosa into small strips and roll and serve it with coconut chutney. This was really amazing. It was so different. Even my husband liked it a lot. I wish we had more of the veggie mixture so we all could enjoy one more Ginny dosa. We all had to eat one last just plain paneer dosa as we ran out of cheese and the veggie mixture. So definitely give this a try as it was very different but worth tasting. If you do not want to take the pain to make the Shazwan sauce at home, you can buy Ching's pre-made sauce but give this dosa a try for sure. Next, let's look at two moong sprout recipes. If you like to eat salads, then this would be a great addition to your diet. To make moong sprout salad, first I will blanch the sprouts in hot water for around 2-3 to three minutes, not any more. Next, cut the veggies of your choice. I like a blend of red onions, capsicum, tomatoes and cucumbers. Add moong sprouts to this and season it with some black salt, chaat masala and lemon juice. And ta-da, enjoy! I love to add coriander and half finely chopped green chilli to add that spicy kick. But kids are sitting in front of me asking for food so not adding either of those. You can also make chaat using moong sprouts. Simply fill the moong sprout salad in pani puri puris and top it with chutneys of your choice. I'm adding yogurt which has a little bit of sugar in it, green chutney and date tamarind chutney and sprinkle some chaat masala on top. Some nylon safe and fresh coriander takes it to another level. And there you go. Yummy sprout moong chaat is ready in no time. Of course, if you have the chutneys ready, right? I usually have date tamarind and green chutney cubes in the deep freeze. All I have to do is thaw and use, making such recipes more accessible. If you want to see the process of cubing the chutney, please watch my kitchen tips video. I will link them in description box below and in the i button as well. Last recipe for today is vegetable stir fry. I used to eat this a lot when I used to work and had less time on hand for dinners. And this recipe is quick and it hardly takes 15 minutes cooking time. I'm actually making it after years, so really looking forward to it. So take a pan, add chopped garlic and then add some steamed veggies of your choice. I like a blend of broccoli, carrots, capsicum, baby corns and onions. Saute them till they are lightly caramelized. Then add salt, black pepper, 1 tablespoon of Shezwan sauce and add rice and mix and enjoy. I love this hot and spicy stir fried rice. Have you ever tried a similar recipe of this recipe? Do let me know in comments. And also if you enjoyed watching this video, which is that one recipe that you will definitely consider trying. 
do let me know in the comment section below i'll be waiting for your messages i will sign off now and see you in the next video bye for now mm -hmm.